everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I've had a bit of a hiatus. We actually are expecting again and uh, pregnancy doesn't always treat me so well. I get very, very sick, throw up a lot. So that's always fun. But we will have another baby in January. So that'll give me two January babies about two years apart. And we are having another girl. So I'm sure you only see kind of girl colored stuff from here on out. But we just kind of enjoyed our summer and uh, been prepping our house for another baby and working full time and trying to tame the one toddler we do have. So I wanted to hop on today and talk about some Bumpkins brand products I bought earlier in the spring off Amazon that I've been really happy with and we've continued to use and have held up really well. So I bought two different bibs. Both are the Bumpkins brand. It's their little logo there. I got them right on Amazon. The first one I bought was this nice long sleeve bib. This one happens to be the Cinderella motif. You can see it's got pockets and then the sleeves are elastic. So this is sized for six months to 24 months is what it says online. My 22 month old is pretty big and she's kind of starting to outgrow it. The shoulders are just getting a little tight, but she can still wear it for the next couple months. This particular one does have a tie back. Not the end of the world, but if you have a girl like I do, you probably just got to make sure you don't get her hair stuck in it or she might get ornery. Mine did when I did get her hair stuck, but this has held up really well. You know, we've had spaghetti and stuff on this and you can see it's still pretty bright white. You can put it in the washing machine. I have washed it on one occasion. Otherwise, I just kind of scrub these down in the sink or wipe them down with baby wipes. They're very soft. They're really easy to fold up and they can fold up really small, which is really nice. They can go in kind of a little tiny pocket in your diaper bag. And I have not had any issues with some of my other plasticky bibs like this where the clear coating kind of crumbles off. None of that with these. So like I said, this one, six to, six to 24 months it says, and that is probably about accurate. But really nice at kind of keeping those stains off the sleeves too, especially now that it's winter and we have long sleeves again. I am a big fan of this. And it is long enough to where it almost kind of sits on the kid's lap so it can catch anything that falls. And the reason I bought these was because, especially like if we're at other people's houses or restaurants where she's sitting on one of our laps to eat or like a booster seat or a high chair, she's getting really messy. Plus, I love my Tommy Tippy bibs still, and we use those for like meal times at home, but they do take up a lot of space in the diaper bag. These don't. This is the Junior Smock bib. Now, this has a Velcro closure, and it is some strong Velcro. My 22 month old cannot get it off, not even close. It is short sleeved, but there's plenty of room in there. I can easily see this fitting a three year old. And this is a little longer, so it actually will like sit on the child's lap, which I, I like because mine tends to drop a lot of things, so catches everything right in there. Now the pockets on these bumpkins bibs, I do like there's a stitch in the middle. So they are able to catch the food, but they're not like being held open the whole time. So they sit really nice, just enough to catch stuff. I don't know if you can see there how it stays open, but it's not like flopping open all over the place. Again, this Junior Smock bib folds up really nice and small. It's very soft. It's not scratchy at all, and it's not crumbling. It's held up really well. I just rinse my bibs in the sink or I wipe them down with baby wipes. Just depends on where we're at, and they have done great especially like these for traveling because they do fold up so small and then, you know, they're catching everything. Now, I also had, because I like these bibs a lot, I'd ordered some of these reusable snack bags by Bumpkins. I saw them like, you can say I have the unicorn motif, one of those too. I had ordered them because I saw them on there, but then I saw they said Amazon's Choice. And they had a lot of reviews, and reviews were either great or not great. So I tried them, and I've actually bought quite a few now. If you're not a reusable snack bag person, that's, that's fine, probably not for you. But I really like this bigger one, too. I've bought a couple of these now just for storing things in the diaper bag. 
Uh, we had a whole bottle of Tylenol leak into one of these. I didn't put the cap on right and it held everything in there. So they are sealed really well. The zippers on them are also really easy. They're nice and soft. And because they're so soft, they're really easy to wash. I mean, you can completely turn them inside out. You can get into every nook and cranny in there. And we've had some other reusable bags that were a little harder plastic and they were just more difficult to wash. Whereas these have washed up really nice. They haven't gotten crumply or like wrinkly or anything at all. But at the same time, these, these are great for like snacks, goldfish, that sort of thing. Especially if I don't have enough room in the diaper bag for like Tupperwares. I like to put some of my stuff in Tupperware so it doesn't get crunched. But if we're going out the whole day, we, we get tight for space in the diaper bag. So these are really nice. Now again, like this will fit a sandwich if you want to put a whole sandwich in there too. They have all kinds of different designs of these. And same with the bibs. I know this, there's a lot of kind of the same consistent designs, but the price really varies. You can get these really cheap sometimes and other times they're not cheap. So my suggestion would be to like add it to your Amazon watch list and then use something like Honey or Camel 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 to see when they're coming down. So I have these ones, but then like I also got some cactus printed ones for like three bucks for one of these ones, whereas these are closer to like four, sometimes five dollars a piece, depending on where you're buying them. Um, and then some of these little ones, I got like a two pack of these at one point for like three ninety eight. They came on like add on deals. So just kind of watch the price, but also it depends on what pattern you want. Same with the bibs. The smocks were all kind of running like $8 to $10. I think I paid $8 for this unicorn one. But I don't know what was going on with the long sleeve bib because I got the Cinderella Disney bumpkins motif one. This was like $6. And sometimes I notice the Disney prints go down on a really good sale. So if you don't really care what print you have, you can get these bibs for, you know, 6 to 8 bucks versus the 10 to 12 they normally run. And the bags also can go on a discount too. Now these aren't something to keep snacks in for a really long time. You can't keep your goldfish in here for two weeks and expect them to not get stale. Like they will. It's it's a zipper. It's plastic, but it's it's not totally air tight. Like I said, I had a bottle of Tylenol that leaked in these. It was just fine. But I, that was kind of the Amazon reviews I saw. People are like, you know, well, we're keeping our puffs in here. They're getting stale after a week or two. Well, yeah, if you put like baby puffs and any kind of other container, usually they're stale within a week or two. Sometimes they even are in the container. So not something to keep your snacks in forever. But if you're going in and out, like I, like we keep our little Annie's bunnies and our goldfish and like a screw top Ziploc container to keep them fresh. Well, we bring these out, our kid eats them. If we have some left, because I'm cheap, I dump them back in that little container and they do just fine. So you're looking for some good reusable snack bags, I would recommend these. They've washed up really well and have been very easy with the zippers too. Really easy to get open. My kid can grab them and I've been really happy with them. So if you have any questions, comments, feel free to put a comment below. Have a good night.